Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining us today. My name is Debbie and I'm on the creative design team at Sizzix and how excited are you about summer? I bet you're even more excited about the Sizzix July craft box. It's called Travel and Celebrations. Now it can be used year long, but the great thing about it, there's all sorts of ideas that I'm gonna share with you and throughout the website, you're gonna be able to see projects that you can use using this die set, but I've created a little sip of sunshine in this project here. It has the shaker panes that are included in your craft box, as well as some glitter, cardstock, all sorts of goodness that you're going to enjoy as soon as you order it. So make sure you go ahead and order it because they sell out quick. So as soon as you open up this box of joyful goodness, you're going to be so excited about what's included. You have 48 inches by six inches of texture roll. Texture roll is one of our um, surfaces that has a glossy metallic finish. You're gonna be getting the silver and it also has a matte craft background uh, backing. This is something that does not tear, but it die cuts beautifully. Great for mixed media. So you have all big piece here that you can use for any of your projects in your craft box and after you use your craft box. You also have the metallic flakes. Now our metallic flakes, you're gonna be getting the silver. Now a lot, a little goes a long way. And I'm not gonna open this because it's pretty static, but if you lift it up, you'll think, is there anything in here? But as soon as you pull it out, it's soft, it's very pill, uh, light. I don't know if you can see a piece kind of fluttering around, but it's so much fun to work with. So you have a nice size pot of this. You also will be getting the luster wax. This is also silver. This is also a um, something, it has a orange oil scent to it and it's absolutely, the smell is amazing, but it just adds a little um, embellishment and it adds a little whimsy and finishes off your projects, any of the edges, die cut edges, edges of your cards, edges of any of you can go on wood or anything. It also a little tiny bit, dab it and rub it on top of your embossed um, images. Oh my gosh, absolutely beautiful. So you'll be getting silver. Sequins and beads. Now this particular one is hearts and tiny little hearts. They're all, everybody's, is, it's assorted. So every, not everybody, but there's um, multiple different shapes. So it's just kind of random which one you get, but the one in this box is hearts and there's all different size hearts in there. So that's the um, sequin. Somebody might get the uh, the beads. You also will get the permanent adhesive ro roller. This is perfect for anything that you want to adhere down. If you can see the little flake floating around still. <laughs> um, adhere down any, everybody can use an adhesive roller. So you're going to get that. You're also going to be getting the glasses. Now the glasses is a 10 piece die set. If you can see the different um, images that we've created here on this uh, packaging, it's absolutely adorable and the possibilities are endless. But look at all the dies that you'll get. I've used these as the little um, glitter that's shaking inside of my, the confetti inside of my shaker pane. But all of the things are all included. You got the straw, you've got the little banner, champagne glass, wine glass, water glass, lemonade glass, whatever you're uh, thirsty for, you can create anything with that. So these are all the thinlets on the glasses set. You will also be getting 13 dies in the um, transportation collect transport collection. Now this is a great um, die set. You're gonna be getting helicopter with the blades. You're gonna be getting tires for the truck, also the airplane, all the great little things that you see here. Now the, the little treetops, that's also used for the cloud. So that's kind of fun. You don't have to just use it as a treetop. You can use it as the cloud as the airplane's passing by. So something like this is great for your vacation projects or someone's going on a vacation. I'm gonna show you a project that I had done with this die set. Absolutely adorable. You could do it in pink. It doesn't have to be a, a red truck, because you know, trucks aren't just for boys. Um, but it's great for any of your projects that you're creating for the summer, for anything for travel. It's just a great little um, die set. You also will be getting the shaker panes, the circle shaker panes. It comes three in a set, and they're the different sizes, three and three quarters, two and three quarters, and one and three quarters. Now these work perfectly with the sequence of bees, so that's why the whole thing kind of ties together to give you some great ideas for um, any of the projects that you're gonna be creating with the shaker panes or what's included in your um, craft box. Also, all sorts of ideas are on the website as well. Now, we don't expect you just to have these things and not be ready to start crafting already. So of course, you have to have some of our cardstock. Now the cardstock that you're gonna be getting is from the uh, Eclectic Collection. So these are all the colors. Now you're not just, you're getting one of each from the um, 
eclectic cardstock collection, but you're also getting five cream ivory uh, cardstock. So this is perfect for any card bases that you would need. So those, these are the colors that are included in your craft box. Nothing better than getting a craft box and being able to start right away and creating something. So this is my little Hello Summer uh, card that I've created using the uh, glasses as well as the little citrus elements and the straw inside of the um, glass as well. It's a perfect for any, it could be great for an invitation or if you're giving somebody a gift that's, um, you know, the ingredients for your favorite summer cocktail or the lemonade, cute for a tag that you can add to the tag and um, with the recipe. So that's a fun project. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I uh, created this project. I'm going to be using my regular Big Shot. And I already have the card base already cut ready to go, but I'm just gonna get started so you can see exactly what I used to create this card. It's a perfect little summer days with a little glass of sunshine, like I had said. So these are just the elements that I used in the um, project. These are not all of the ones that are included in the die set. So I'm gonna go ahead and with my texture roll, I'm going to cut the glass. So I chose this glass and with my Italian last name, of course I have to absolutely love an Aperol Spritz. So as soon as I saw this die set, I said, oh my gosh, this is what I'm making. And I love anything orange in color or flavor. <laughs> that's just me. So always blade against the good side of the paper. So that's gonna go on there. And since these are all thinlets, I can go ahead and cut everything at the same time. That are thinlets, since there are no bigs involved, there's no embossing involved. It just, it, with this area, the six inch opening, I can go ahead and do multiple things at the same time. So let me get the leaves. This is going on top of the orange segment or section that's on the side, inside the shaker pane. And then I'm also going to cut some of the elements that I'm going to adhere that were also inside of the shaker glass. Trim this down a little bit. Now this is just a fun project that you can do. You can have um, all sorts of different pieces already cut, not cut, yeah, and just kind of go ahead and create him as you go. So having things on hand, like what if I decided I didn't want to use the leaves inside of this little section? I put them in a little baggie and kind of store them as leaves in a little category, and then they're ready to go whenever I want to create a card. Okay. There's lots of blades going on, so I use all my might. Got the wine glass here. And if you can see all these little pieces, they just fell right out. Now, if they didn't fall out, I have my die pick also. So you have the straw, whether you want to use a straight straw or the bendy straw. On my project, I use the bendy one. And then I have the leaves that I wanted to use on the top of the um, orange. So let me go ahead and use my die pick and get out these pieces. I'm just gonna use the branch, but something like these pieces, nothing's wrong with them to hang on to for future projects. I'm just gonna put those off to the side. I already had cut them in um, earlier in the darker color, so that's ready to go. And then I have these pieces here, and these are the ones that are going to be adhered down onto the, I put, have adhesive backing, so I could either use glue or I could use my, um, I back the paper with the, um, adhesive sheet. So the adhesive sheet makes everything a sticker, which is perfect for any of these tiny little pieces. So I already have some already in my funnel tray just because it'll be easier to go and add them to my project. So those are all set, as well as the orange ones. Just to save time, I figure you don't need to watch me put all those out. We've got the straw already cut. So what I've done here is I have adhered down the little pieces so it kind of creates little bubbles that you'll be having inside of your Aperol spritz. And I'm gonna put it just over, I don't have to worry about this because this is the only part I'm gonna be able to, wanting to keep, which is the part that has the liquid <laughs> inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. Now, 
it could have an adhesive backing if I wanted to lay it down, but um, I'm just gonna, it's on just on the regular uh, cardstock. I also want to cut the um, orange segment and the backing of the orange, and I'm gonna cut it in the, um, the also in the same orange, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it through. A big shot. And this is the only piece that I need here. So if you can see, it's got the bubbles and it's ready to put inside of my um, glass that I had cut from the texture roll. Now I've also have my orange slice, or my oranges slice, I should say, and all the little triangles pop up perfectly. And this is the backing. Now, as you can see, there's no big contrast with the backing if I do the same color, but since it's all in the same die set, I just ran it through and it's something I would just hang on to and keep off to the side. But since I also wanna do it in the, um, cardstock with an adhesive backing, so this will adhere right down perfectly, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down on a larger piece and have it um, this way, good side of the blade, uh, good side of the paper against the blade. So now I've got the orange segments cut out perfectly and the backing. So since I need two of them to create a full orange slice instead of a segment, I've, um, so I'm gonna have one here on top, oops, <laughs> one here on top, which is the segment, and then I'm gonna put two together to create the actual um, slice of orange inside. But just to save time, I've already assembled, I've already cut those together. So I'm going to take this, which is the slice with the different orange segments in it. It'll, and I'm gonna peel off my adhesive backing. You could use any kind of a wet glue, you could use your tape runner, but this makes it perfectly, and this is our adhesive sheets that I used on there. Now, if I wanted to make the um, orange a little more juicy and um, plump, I could lay these inside and just to fill it up, fill up the space a little bit. So, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it just like that. It's perfect, perfect that way. So the next part I'm going to do is there's this die set called circle frames and you don't have to have them it just finishes it off a little bit if you're using our shaker paints and it comes with the hard shaker paints as well as the square and this is a um, die set that has will cut the inside and also the frame of your um, of your uh, circle so just to finish it off I could have covered with um, glitter I could have covered it with a um, little made a little wreath around it if I wanted but just to finish it off with more of the orange I went ahead and covered it with the uh, orange cardstock so let me just show you how that works so you get the assorted sizes there that so that's the ring there like that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that that way And it also comes with this full center ring. So if that's something that I wanted to have as a backing, I could go ahead and cut that that way. But since I want the ring to be a little bit larger than this, I'm going to cut this in orange just so you can have the ring itself. Run that through. Oop, it fell out already. <laughs> so this has adhesive backing on it. I didn't have to put the adhesive backing on it because your um, shaker pane has the actual adhesive on the outside, on the outside of the ring. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside. And then I also want to cut it again, but I wanna just have the center piece and that's the ring that's on the inside. Okay, I believe that is it for my die cutting, so I'm gonna put my machine to the side. And then I'm going to grab my shaker paint so you could see what I meant when I was talking about the actual paint having the adhesive ring. So you have all these different sizes and this is all in your craft box, isn't that beautiful? So you're gonna get this piece here. This piece here is the part that will um, cover the shakies inside so it doesn't fall out, which does not make 
the recipient very happy if it, well, it is kind of fun, but the whole point of the shaker paint is that it's all closed up. So there's a protective backing on here. It's not a sticker and you want to just be careful. You don't want to scratch it too much and you just peel that off. That's just so there's going to be no scratches during shipping or um, it hitting up against anything before you're ready to use it. So you're going to peel off both sides. It's just a film. I'm just going to put it right there just so I can still see it since it's so clean and clear. Okay, so let's start assembling. So what I did is I have my um, piece of my little um, cocktail glass already die cut. What I wanted to do is just to pop it up a little bit, I wanted to um, add a little foam tape to it. So I've taken our, I've taken our um, foam tape and I just laid it on another backing of adhesive and just so I was able to cut really skinny strips, I went ahead and laid it on top of there. But also in the meanwhile, just so it would be shiny and clear like the actual cocktail, even though this isn't a shaker, I have a little piece of acetate that I just uh, fussy cut around and I went ahead and laid it down there on the back. So this is all ready to go. Okay, so what I wanna do next is I wanna position where I am putting this cocktail glass. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that down there like that, just so I can see exactly where I want it to be. And I want it to be right about there. So let me just lay it down there, there so I don't forget. I'm going to take my adhesive roller, which you also have that inside of your craft box. And I'm just going to go ahead and tuck that down there like that, just so, oops, it's probably a little sticky. And position it just a little bit off there, off to the side. Okay, and then I have my adhesive backing with the foam tape. So it's got this foam behind it. I just cut it real, like I said, real skinny strips, peel it off, put that little fussy cut piece of acetate. I actually, what I did is took the packaging from one of our uh, dies and just laid it down there on there. So this is all sticky, ready to go. So before I want to do that, I want to go ahead and add my straw just so it's down in there between. I had in advance taken one of my white pens and just did the little stripes like, the, like an actual straw. I don't have to do that. That's just what I did in my project. And you just want to make sure that it's positioned perfectly so it's at an angle. I'm going to take some of my Express Glue and just add a little bit. This also could have had adhesive backing on it, but I didn't do that. Now, if you can see the little fizzy bubbles here, I had taken our Express Glue, did a little puddle, and then added the edge or the base of a um, paintbrush, the handle of a paintbrush, and I had gone ahead and dabbed it into my puddle like this and just kind of dotted it and it dried so quickly and it also dried that's why it's called Express Glue. <laughs> and it also dried clear, which I absolutely love. So the straw is there ready for sipping right above the bubbles. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down there on there like that. I mean, how fun is this already coming to life? So that's down there ready to go. I've got my slice all set and ready. So here's the slice that I had done. I'd also already put a piece of adhesive backing on, or sorry, our foam tape on there, so it'll pop up. And that'll be right there on the side, ready for somebody to enjoy. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, shaker pane. So for the shaker pane, remember I had already cut down the um, circle, so the white circle, ready to go. I'm going to adhere on top of the white circle that's just so you can see just a little bit, just in case the shaker goes past that, you can see that in the, um, in the background, just in case. So go ahead and put that down there like that. And then I have my orange slice. So there's one that I'd already assembled. Let me go ahead and do the second one. So you got your two orange slices, nice and juicy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of my Express Glue on the back side there. And you just wanna position it just right so it has the 
more of the rind. Oh, this one already has adhesive back. Look at that. Go ahead and position that there on there like that. And this one, I'm gonna put my express glue on there. Now, this is the part that has the adhesive ring and so does the other side. So I'm gonna peel this off. Let's see if I can get it, I'll use the die pick. It just lifts right up, a very strong tape, so your little shaker paint is not going anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead, lay that down. Now this is the part where I'm gonna drop in all of my, um, my orange piece and my uh, sequins and beads. And I'm gonna position that in there like that. I could have put it underneath, but I think it would be a little stronger and a little more vibrant with the, um, the actual orange slice on the inside. Now, the leaves I had cut earlier, I'm gonna stick them onto the um, adhesive ring on the actual shaker paint instead of underneath it or on top. I just thought it would be fun and kind of gives it a little lift from the inside. And those are the leaves to the orange. And then I've already cut my little confetti pieces. Those are the ones that were inside of this die set here. And then I'm just gonna shake, I took the smaller um, sequins and I went ahead and put them inside of my funnel tray. And I'm gonna open this up and shake them on in there. Now that this is already adhesive and it's already ready to go, that's when I'm gonna take that one little shield that I peeled off the um, protective shield on there and I'm gonna go ahead and cover that up. And that's all set. And then here is my little ring that I had previously cut. And that's the one that is an additional die set called Circle Frames, and they go perfectly with all the sizes of your shaker paint. So that's an additional SKU that can be ordered off of our website. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down there. And there we are. How fun is that? Shaking up the summer with some sunshine in a glass. An Aperol spritz, nothing better and nothing more refreshing on these warm summer days. Now I had a few things that I wanted to share with you that I've done with the transport, transport collection die set that also comes in your um, craft box. This is using the airplane. I added it with our celebration box and some of uh, an additional embossing folder. But this, how cute is this? Using the texture roll and just any of your colors, one of any of the fonts that you have, or you can rubber stamp a message, or you can um, use any of your handwriting styles that you have. Add that to the little airplane and how cute is that? Onto a tag, doesn't have to be a little gift box. It's just the perfect little uh, die set that'll get you on your way. Now also the helicopter. So whether you're traveling by land or by air, this is a cute little die set. So if you're on a road trip or flying somewhere exotic or traveling doing a helicopter ride across any of those exotic islands, this is the perfect little die set for you to add to any scrapbooking pages or any little gift tags, add it to an invitation, tie it in with the theme of a party. All these elements are so fun and it makes great projects for any of your um, creations that you're coming up with, with your July craft box and all of the fun things that are included. I hope I've inspired you with my project. It's the perfect little sip to summer sunshine. With the July craft box, there's so much included that I know that you'll be ready to jump in and create something wonderful. Whether it's Make Something Monday or Family Fun Friday, I'm sure with the transport and celebration craft box, the possibilities are endless. Have a wonderful summer and thanks so much for joining us.